Okay, so I'm just making this video to explain to RX-8 owners how and why their motors do not brap, and why them saying brap this, brap that about everything regarding their RX-8 or their Renesis is just fucking stupid. But anyway, so here we can clearly see a side port exhaust. There's your intake uh, ports on a six port iron. There's also a peripheral exhaust port, which I'll talk a little bit, little bit about in just a minute. But anyway, so uh, what overlap is, is when the intake and exhaust ports are open to each other on the same face at the same time. But in the MSP, Mazda designed this to be a zero overlap engine. Now what that means is at no point is the exhaust port open to the intake ports you know, at any time. Uh, so what this does is it cuts down significantly on emissions, which is why Mazda was allowed to keep it in production from 2003 to 2012, except for in the UK or in Europe in general, I, I think, uh, because their emissions standards got stricter and well, it's all their fault why rotaries aren't in production today because fuck those guys. But anyway, so here we can see that the exhaust port's fully open. It's beginning of the close. And yeah, these are, these aren't open on this face yet. And it is, should be fully closed now. And here, uh, the intake port is just barely beginning to open. So the exhaust port's fully closed by the time uh, the intake ports are starting to open. Now, if this had peripheral exhaust ports, that would be a very different story. And now this is actually the smallest production uh, peripheral 13B port. Uh, this being the very first 13B housing, being from a 74-75 repu, um, also found in the RX-4. Now, let's get to where the peripheral exhaust starts to open, right there. And we can already see that the intake port is Know, already open uh, fairly sooner than that. Now, if we get to the top of it, right about there, that's how much the intake port is open. It's actually more than that because, well, this edge chunk is covering where the side sill goes. But anyway, um, if this had peripheral exhaust ports, even these tiny little uh, repu ports, uh, there would be a fairly noticeable uh, brap noise. And the more you pour it up, the more the more brap noise you get, which explains why my half-ass S500 Killer B with excessively large exhaust ports ported very, very far up, uh, why it has a very noticeable brap noise. Now, comparing these two ports, uh, this being the, again, the smallest production uh, peripheral exhaust 13B uh, port, um, it opens sooner than the MSP port, but the MSP port closes a lot later up here. I, I don't think there's enough material to actually remove from here to match that. Actually, you can look right here in this exhaust sleeve. Uh, yeah, the, there's just no way you can pour it up that much. And even with the RX-5 uh, exhaust sleeves and stuff like that, there's, there's not enough material to take to uh, match that. So slightly later opening and much, much later closing. And I think that plays a lot into why the, the Renesis makes so much NA power stock. Uh, was it 238 at the flywheel, which take out 20% for a drivetrain loss and stuff like that. Uh, that leaves you with about 190 at the wheels. But a typical six port Renesis will put anywhere between uh, 180 to 190 at the wheels stock. And then, you know, bolt-ons and tune gets you around like 200 at the wheels, 200-ish. Anyway, that's a very, very significant jump from the S5 NA uh, 6 port, which is the last production uh, NA rotary. That made about 160 horsepower, I believe. So, yeah, the Renesis isn't all bad, uh, even though everybody hates it. Uh, the only real reason people hate the Renesis is uh, because there's no real potential, uh, you know, any horsepower potential. Um, if you street port it, you'll get some minuscule top end gains, but your mid range will decrease. 
so reliability and fuel economy. So it's almost all bad for just a slight tiny bit of improvement on the top end, which you'll almost never be there. Uh, you're gonna spend most of your time in the mid range. So yeah, less horsepower, less reliability, less fuel economy. It's just all bad. And bridge porting isn't any better. Actually, it's not better at all. There's no benefit whatsoever to a bridge port on a Renesis. Now, you do gain a tiny little, little bit of overlap, just a very minuscule amount. And it actually just sounds like ass. Now, not like super bad, but like, it, it just sounds like ass. And you know, it, it's even less reliable. You get worse fuel economy. And well, it's the same, the exact same case for uh, power uh, on the top end and you know, loss of mid range power and stuff like that. So uh, the best thing you can do is leave it stock, except right here in the upper portion of the exhaust port. Now here, I've actually ported this to be smoothed out. But normally there is a nasty, uh, shitty shelf right there where carbon builds up and eventually it'll break off into the motor if the side tilt catches it and destroy the motor, which is likely what happened to this 161,000 mile uh, S2 engine that came out of my car. Um, all the apex sills on the front rotor are perfectly fine, but there are gouge marks. Um, I'll show you the clip right here. All right, so just uh, turning this engine over by hand and already I can see on one face that it definitely did, ooh, damn. It definitely did uh, eat shit. Uh, he's there. I, I haven't seen a busted apex cell yet, but this might be the one that let go. Get to it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, from what I can see, just through the spark plug holes, all three apex cells are intact. Ooh, that face ate some shit too. So yeah, I, I believe that the housing is probably also trash too. I mean, 161,000 miles, yeah, sure. But um, probably definitely eight side cells, no doubt about that. So the only form of porting that's actually beneficial to a Renesis is right here, just smoothing that out. So hopefully that puts things into perspective a little bit better and you learned something from this and if you think that someone else can learn from uh, watching this too, then go ahead and share it with them and whatever. But uh, I, I really hope RX-8 owners watching this will stop saying brat this and brat that all the goddamn time because you're making me look bad. <sighs> I love RX-8s. I love the Renesis. It's actually probably my favorite NA rotary engine, uh, period. But God, I, I hate RX-8 owners. They're just the fucking worst. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, and uh, you guys have a good day. See ya.